You ready? Five seconds. Start. As far as I understand, there have been many agricultural exhibitions in this country in the past, but this is the largest of all those so far held. Agriculture is the foundation of our economy and of our whole life, if I may say so. Sardar Patel had once put it in his own manner by saying when he was asked about culture, he said, I know only one culture and that is agriculture. That was significant in one sentence. He explained many things because our whole agriculture has been built up around agriculture, if I may say so. And it is from the soil that many things have come. Most of the things that have enriched the world have come from the soil and the present should have the greatest priority for the development of this country. Even today, even though many of the peasants, particularly the smaller ones who form the bulk are not educated but they still show in their lives the deep culture that they have inherited from the holy past as against others. And it is they who are the backbone of this country in my view. It is therefore that we have decided to give the highest priority to agriculture and to grow industries and cottage industries so that we develop this country in consonance with its great culture and enrich the lives of the people in all ways. That does not mean that we are neglecting heavy or medium industries. They have their own place. They are also required for agriculture too. But they will not be there many of them if agriculture is not there because it is agricultural produce on which many of these depend and unless agriculture is enriched, production is increased, productivity is increased, it is no use talking of prosperity in this land. Whatever may be the case in other countries, this country has a rural civilization and not an urban one. But the urban civilization seems to be absorbing and wrecking the rural civilization completely. It is that which we are trying to reverse so that both urban areas and rural areas get enriched. If the rural areas are enriched, urban areas are bound to be alright. But if only the urban areas get prominence, then rural areas get impoverished in every way. This is why the importance of this exhibition is of great importance. We have natural resources of almost all kinds and we have got to see that we use them, not exploit them as people say. We are against all exploitations. When the natural resources are exploited, they get depleted and God knows what happens afterwards and that is what is happening today. But if they are properly used, they can be used permanently in a proper manner and they can be utilized to the best advantage of human society. It is therefore 
that we have to see that productivity in agriculture increased to the maximum we can produce three times the agricultural produce that we are producing today that is the capacity of our land we have got to harness the various instruments of increasing that productivity and that also can be done we do not lack intelligence but we are not coordinating the intelligence that we possess nor are we using it with courage and that is what has got to be reviewed and brought back in the life of our people and that also can come more through agriculture than anything else this exhibition therefore provides knowledge of all kinds of agricultural processes and activities how we are growing good and how this can increase it also provides education and how agricultural produce is utilized and how industries also depend on it and how industries benefit agriculture it also gives proper exhibition of khadi and other cottage industries which can be the backbone of our economy and of our development as it ought to be all these things are brought out very well in this exhibition i hope and trust that those who come here and visit this exhibition will take necessary time to go through all the pavilions so that a whole picture is before them i would also like to see and suggest to the commerce ministry and agriculture ministry that many things in this exhibition can be kept in every state for a permanent exhibition so that perpetually people go on looking at them and have the benefit of this exhibition in that manner and we can go on adding to it from time to time whatever new things we want to expose to the public this may be considered as a matter of fact i am also thinking of having a museum in this country of all the states showing the best that every states art culture music science ancient monuments so that everybody can have an idea of this country at one place then i also think we will have a legitimate pride in the country to make the world happy and prosperous